And right now, a popular exhibit at the Brevard Zoo remains closed after a toddler somehow fell into this rhino enclosure. The two-year-old's injury so severe she had to be airlifted for treatment. And Mark Lehman joins us live now from Arnold Palmer Hospital, where that little girl is this morning. So, Mark, has the exhibit had problems before? You know, we, we asked the zoo's uh, director about that, and he tells us this, this is the first time there's been a problem in the exhibit's 10-year history. Now, as an investigation has been launched, we're getting an update from the girl's family who tells us she is doing well after the terrifying encounter. We thought it was just a day at the park. Lori Becker says she was kayaking around the rhino exhibit when she saw the rescue effort underway. A toddler coming face to face with the two to three ton animals after she fell into the enclosure. There's poles there that you could easily slip into and so I think that's what happened. Zoo officials say the girl's family was taking part in the hands-on rhino encounter when she stumbled and fell backwards in between the 11 inch wide steel poles. Parents immediately leapt to bring the child out. Both the girl and her mother were injured. Officials say the child was airlifted to Orlando after making contact with the snout of one of the rhinos. With the exhibit now closed as the zoo reviews safety procedures, zoogoers say the incident serves as a reminder for all parents. Keep an eye on them all the time. That's pretty much it. Now, the girl's father has released a statement saying yesterday was a trying day, but they're thankful to everyone who's reached out with their concerns. He also tells us that the girl's mother has been released from the hospital. This morning, we're working to get an update on the toddler's condition as she continues her recovery. Bridget.